The 1970 Lincoln Send Large Date Double Die Obverse Brown Mint State 64 is a highly sought-after coin by collectors and numismatists alike. This particular coin is known for its unique and rare characteristics, which make it a valuable addition to any collection. The coin weighs 3.11 grams and has a mintage of 693,192,814. It was minted in San Francisco and is made of 95% copper and 5% zinc. The coin's obverse features a double die, which means that the image on the coin was struck twice, resulting in a slightly distorted image. The coin's brown color is also a unique feature that sets it apart from other Lincoln scents. This color is the result of Ith coin's exposure to the elements over time, which has caused it to develop a patina. The patina is a natural process that occurs when copper reacts with the air and forms a layer of oxidation on the surface of the coin. The 1970 Lincoln Send Large Date Double Dia vs. Brown Mint State 64 has an auction record of $5,675. This high price is a testament to the coin's rarity and desirability among collectors. The MS64 grade also adds to the coin's value, as it indicates that the coin is in excellent condition with only minor imperfections. Overall, the 1970 Lincoln Send Large Date Double Dia vs. Brown MS64 is a fascinating coin that tells a story of its own. Its unique features and rarity make it a valuable addition to any collection, and its history and significance make it a fascinating piece of American numismatic history. The 1970s one cent, large date, double die obverse. Large date, red-brown, regular strike, is a rare and highly sought-after coin among collectors. Minted in San Francisco, this coin is made of 95% copper and 5% zinc with a weight of 3.11 grams. With a mintage of 693,192,814, this coin is not particularly rare in terms of its production numbers. However, what makes this coin so valuable is its unique and distinctive double die obverse. The double die obverse is a result of a minting error, where the die used to strike the coin was engraved twice, creating a slightly doubled image on the coin's surface. This error is not immediately noticeable to the naked eye, but upon closer inspection, the doubling can be seen on the date and lettering on the obverse side of the coin. The large date variety of this coin is also highly desirable among collectors, as it is rarer than the small date variety. The large date is characterized by a larger and more prominent date on the obverse side of the coin. The red-brown, regular strike, Designation refers to the coin's finish, which is a standard finish for coins produced for circulation. Red-brown stands for red-brown, which describes the color of the coin's surface. This color is a result of the coin's copper content, which tends to oxidize and develop a reddish-brown patina over time. The auction record for this coin is an impressive $9,500 for a coin-graded mint state 65 red-brown. This high price is a testament to the rarity and desirability of this coin among collectors. The Mint State 65 Red Brown Grade is a high grade for this coin, indicating that the coin is in excellent condition with only minor imperfections. The 1970s one cent large date, double die obverse. Large date, red brown is a rare and valuable coin that is highly sought after by collectors. Its unique double die obverse and large date variety make it a standout among other coins of its era. With a high auction record and a limited number of high-grade specimens, this coin is a true gem for any serious collector. The 1970s one cent large date, double die obverse, red is a highly sought-after coin among collectors. Minted in San Francisco, this coin weighs 3.11 grams and is composed of 95% copper and 5% zinc. With a mintage of 693,192,814, this coin is not particularly rare, but its unique features make it highly valuable. The most notable feature of this coin is the double die obverse. This means that the design on the front of the coin was struck twice resulting in a slightly blurred or doubled image. This is a rare occurrence in coin minting and adds to the coin's value and desirability. 
In addition to the double die obverse, this coin also has a large date. This means that the numbers on the date are larger than usual, which also adds to the coin's uniqueness and value. The 1970s1c large date, double die obverse, red has an auction record of $24,150 for in mint state, 66 grade. This grade indicates that the coin is in mint state condition with only minor imperfections. Coins in this condition are highly sought after by collectors and can fetch high prices at auction. Overall, the 1970s one cent large date, double die obverse, red is a rare and valuable coin that is highly prized by collectors. Its unique features and limited availability make it a must have for serious coin collectors. The 1970s one cent, small date, red, regular strike, is a highly sought after coin among collectors due to its rarity and unique features. Minted in San Francisco, this coin weighs 3.11 grams and is made of 95% copper and 5% zinc. With a mintage of only 693,192,814, this coin is considered rare and valuable, one of the most distinctive features of the 1970s one cent, small date, red is its small date. This feature sets it apart from other coins of the same year and makes it a must-have for collectors. The small date is also an indication of the coin's rarity, as it was only produced for a short period. Another factor that adds to the coin's value is its condition. The 1970s one cent, small date, red is known for its high quality and is often found in excellent condition. The coin's surface is smooth and free of any blemishes, making it a prime example of a well-preserved coin. The 1970s one cent small date, red has also set an auction record of $2,464 for in mint state 67 grade. This is a testament to the coin's rarity and value, as collectors are willing to pay top dollar for a well-preserved example. The 1970s one cent small date, red is a highly sought-after coin among collectors due to its rarity, unique features, and high quality. Its small date, excellent condition, and auction record make it a valuable addition to any collection. As such, it is a coin that is highly recommended for serious collectors who are looking for a rare and valuable piece of history. The 1970 Lincoln cent is a highly sought after coin by collectors and enthusiasts alike. This particular year saw the production of two distinct varieties of the coin the small date and the large date. The difference between the two lies in the size of the numbers on the date, with the small date having a more compact font compared to the large date. The small date variety is considered to be the rarer of the two, with only a few thousand of these coins in circulation. This rarity is due to a mistake in the production process, where the dies used to stamp the coins were not properly aligned, resulting in a smaller date. The mistake was quickly corrected, but not before a small number of coins were produced and released into circulation. The large date variety, on the other hand, is much more common and can be found in most collections. The font used for the date is larger and more legible, making it easier to identify. This variety was produced in much larger quantities, with millions of coins released into circulation. While the difference between the two varieties may seem insignificant to the untrained eye, collectors place a high value on the small date variety due to its rarity. The coin has become a prized possession for many collectors, with some paying thousands of dollars to add it to their collection. The 1970 Lincoln cent is a unique coin that has captured the attention of collectors and enthusiasts for decades. The small date and large date varieties offer a glimpse into the production process of the coin and the mistakes that can occur. While the difference between the two may seem small, the rarity of the small date variety has made it a highly sought after coin in the world of numismatics. Now let's dissect this 1971 cent, brown regular strike, weight, 3.11 grams, mintage, 1,898,315,000, mint, Philadelphia, metal, 95% copper, 5% zinc, auction value, $987 min state 64, 1971 cent, red-brown regular strike, weight, 3.11 grams, mintage, 1,898,315,000, mint, Philadelphia, metal, 95% copper, 
5% zinc, auction value, $107, Mint State 67, red brown, 1971 cent, red, regular strike, weight, 3.11 grams, mintage, 1,898,315,000, mint, Philadelphia, metal, 95% copper, 5% zinc, auction value, $5,606. Mint State 67 plus red, 1970d1 cent, brown, regular strike, weight, 3.11 grams, mintage, 2,891,438,900, mint, Denver, metal, 95% copper, 5% zinc, auction value, $616 a U, 55 brown, 1970d1 cent, red brown, regular strike, weight, 3.11 grams, mintage, 2,891,438,900, mint, Denver, metal, 95% copper, 5% zinc, auction value, $89, mint state 63, red brown, 1970d1 cent, red regular strike, weight, 3.11 grams, mintage, 2,891,438,900, mint, Denver, metal, 95% copper, 5% zinc, auction value, $3,120 Mint State, 67 plus. Red, 1970s 1 cent, small date, brown regular strike, weight, 3.11 grams, mintage, 693,192,814, mint, San Francisco, metal, 95% copper, 5% zinc, auction value, $1,910 a U, 50, 1970s 1 cent, small date, Red brown regular strike, weight, 3.11 grams, mintage, 693,192,814, mint, San Francisco, metal, 95% copper, 5% zinc, auction value, $102, mint state 63, red brown, 1970s 1 cent, small date, red, regular strike, weight, 3.11 grams, mintage. 693,192,814, mint, San Francisco, metal, 95% copper, 5% zinc. Auction value, dollar two, 968 mint state 67 plus red, 1970s 1 cent, large date, brown regular strike, weight, 3.11 grams, mintage, 693,192,814, mint, San Francisco, metal, 95% copper, 5% zinc, auction value, $1,800 a U, 58, brown, 1970s 1C large date, re-brown regular strike, weight, 3.11 grams, mintage, 693,192,814, mint, San Francisco, metal, 95%, copper, 5% zinc, auction value, $795 mint state, 67, red brown, 1970s 1 cent, Large date, red, regular strike, weight, 3.11 grams, mintage, 693,192,814, mint, San Francisco, metal, 95% copper, 5% zinc, auction value, $1,980 mint state, 67 plus red.